Good morning, my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Xenoblade 2. Last time we left off in a whole bunch of chaos. Praetor Malthus officially lost his mind. Torna has a giant mecha titan that is now battling the entire country of Indol. I'm really curious what Malthus' intentions are. I'm very confused by his actions. I haven't quite... 100% figured out what's going on with that. But we are here today to find out. And find out we shall. So let's jump right into it. Well, hi. Hello, Quest. You weren't here. Um. Well, uh. Can we see? I'll, I'll worry about that quest later, but. Are we actually closer to the world tree? Oh! <gasps> tweet, 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 tweet. I want to look around. Okay, so you can actually see all this stuff in the distance. <gasps> okay, that's actually really cool. What is this going on over here? They wouldn't have them in shops, I guess. Something bothering friend? My friend's moving her way, so I wanted to make him a pendant like that one I saw in a book. What a charming idea. I'm sure a little keepsake like that will soften the pain of parting a little. Indeed, that's how we... Like how we keep journals, so that it's not so bad when we lose our memories. I only wish I had some records of my time with the Emperor. It was very sudden. What happened to you? It's a shame. There's not much we could do. Though Lady Morag and I will of course tell you what we know of your past. At least once your journey is over, you should be able to get to know His Majesty all over again. Indeed. Tell me, young lady, what kind of pendant did you have in mind? I wanted to make one with some of the rosemary moss from the World Tree. They say it brings luck. But they don't sell it in any of the shops. You want to make your friend both happy and fortunate, then. Yeah. He said he has to move away because his mother died. All right. Oh. So I just want him to be happy. That was a sad loss. My friends, if it is all right with you all, I would like to help this girl obtain what she requires. Roger. Thank you. I promise to get you what you need, my child. Really? Thank you so much. We'll take care of it. I'll be so grateful if I could have it in time to make it before he goes. Oh. So I guess, yeah, maybe there are now quests relating to the world tree. Okay. Hi. Here you go. Treat it with care, young lady. Well, thank you. If I make it now, I'll be able to get it done before he has to go. And that's another problem sorted out. Where's your friend going? To Gormat province, perhaps? Oh no, to Fanzamaima. Fanzamaima. Not many people choose to move to Araya. Him and his dad, they're going to seek asylum there. Seek asylum? Let's hear the details. Well, he won't tell me all the details in case he makes his dad angry. What kind of person is your friend's father, exactly? Um, I've never met him. Your friend's name, then? Well, uh... The way to find Zemaima from the Imperial Capital is very difficult. So we'd like to offer them with... Like to offer to help them with moving there, if that's alright. Oh! His name is Mal Arashkain. If you run into him, don't tell him about the pendant, okay? We promise. Have this as a little thank you. Bye! You have a rather harsh way with children, don't you think? <laughs> Forgive me, my knowledge of social mores is unpolished, I know. Do the same with Niall when he was small. Do you think it was embarrassing for the boy? Embarrassing? You used to reduce him to tears. 
Oh, I am a disgrace. An emperor's blade should not be so foolish. I must atone. I res return to my core crystal. Okay, that's a bit a bit harsh. Um, I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Tori. Like, what? Never mind that. More importantly, doesn't the name Ereshane sound familiar? I totally remember. I expected no less. Let's find him and find out why he needs to seek asylum. Is that... Yeah. Oh, Jack! Hi! How are you? It's been a long time, buddy. Not since, you know... Uh, the hot springs. The, the dead body. You know, uh, great times. Alright, anyways. <laughs> hey! Good to see you. You're looking well. Senator Stok Ereshane, you say? He's not here. This I have to hear. I saw him leaving with his boy a while back. So here's the thing. Cling to Fonzamima, but that's crazy. Hmm, I support Anagham for Uriah bound shipping, I think. Let me go check the departure log. Please, Get the port. Leave it to me. Okay. Let's go to the port. Is he indeed? Involved the Brio knock? Are you? What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. Now that the special inquisitors around, you're like trying to <laughs> form an. Wait, wait. <laughs> So you're the reason I couldn't get to the harbor. My dude, what are you up to? We need to get out of this town as soon as we can. Hey, careful with my things. May I assist you? Who's that? May I ask where you are heading? From Nial's fair city? The Empire's most powerful blade, why are you here? So you were followed, were you? Of all the careless... I, I didn't. Well, we've got to take a chance to strike a blow against the Empire. Let's take it. Aha! If they seek a fight, they shall get one. <laughs> 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 a murder cat? I can't see through you. <laughs> we'll have to look over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gonna get a cat out of the way. Okay, now we can see. Oh no. Not another cat. Help me. These people are threatening me. They're taking me against my will. Didn't look that way to me. Why don't we get this story straight back at Hard High Palace? It's true. I tell you, please believe me. Oh, is that Jacques? Someone help. Something wrong? We've just received word that remnants of the Brianok rebel forces are heading for the capital. The Emperor! We need to head there now. I I'll come along and... I don't think so. I'll keep an eye on the Senator, don't you worry. Everyone, head to my Daryl Bridge as fast as you can. Worry not, Bridget, Bridget and I will handle this task without fail. Well said, we will not disappoint. Okay, well, this, uh, was not how I was expecting this quest to go, but, uh, here we are. If they seek a fight, oh, they okay, well, uh, hi. There we go. Nice. Oh, boy. Rianok, I thought by defeating their leaders, we had weakened them sufficiently. Yet they seem to be going strong still. It appears we have no recourse but to deploy to the Brianok occupied zone and put them down decisively. As you say, this threat to the Empire cannot be left to fester. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's just like, ah, this, this little girl wants to, you know, uh... 
create a goodbye gift for her friend and then suddenly, you know, we are just uh, trying to fight a rebellion, you know. Putting down its letters. Ah, uh, that's fine. Uh, hello there. According to the senator, the capital's defenses should be weak right now, but we're almost wiped out. You, you've obstructed us every step of the way. Wait, when you say senator, you mean from the Imperial Senate. That's right, an Imperial Senator by the name of Stulk. Dun dun dun! I knew it. Huh? The soldiers we've managed to gather were already stretched to their limits, following Akatsuki's orders. And then you people wiped out all of our leaders. Brianok was done for. It was none other than the Senator who told us where to find those Brianok leaders. It was Akatsuki who chose the locations for those transactions. This can only mean- ugh, curse that beast! Akatsuki seemed to indicate that he was with Lindworm just before he returned to his crystal, did he not? Lindworm? So they were pulling the strings the whole time! Sounds like both Akatsuki and the senator may have been members of Lindworm. In which case, this raid is nothing more than an aversion for him to escape the Empire. That senator- <laughs> It seems we were all led astray here. Let us put aside our differences and- Silence! No! How can you forget about our objective so quickly? If there is any strength left in this or left in this organization, we'll use it to destroy the Empire's blades! Okay. <laughs> You're very angry, my dude. We just wanted to have a nice chat, but uh, okay, cool. There we go. Very nice. Easy enough. I have plenty of practice taking these guys out. And that's another problem all sorted out. Is it? I mean, we still have Lendworm to, to deal with. Yes, that seems to be last of the Brianok membership taken care of. Let's go back to Port Anaheim. We need to find out everything we can. Oh wait, that was, that was not Bridget. <laughs> Oops. Well, I mean, if uh, this dude's in prison, uh, her friend isn't going to have to go, but uh, he's not going to be very happy about his dad uh, being imprisoned. You okay? I'm all right, just about, but the ship, has it already sailed? Yes, I'm afraid Senator Stolt got away. That sounds bad, very bad. Some of his allies had concealed themselves on the ship. The attack by Brianak must have just been a ruse so that the Senator could escape. I'm so sorry. No worries. The boat's headed for Uriah. Then we should head for Fanzamima. We'll chase him into the ends of all rest. I'll report this incident to my superiors. Thanks. Uh, hi. Hey, did you see that? Something wrong? That Ardanian just now, he seemed pretty worked up about something. Or what more info? He seemed to be heading for the Great Stairway. There aren't usually many people around there, so take care if you go. Thanks. Excuse me. Uh, you're not allowed over here. You cannot, uh, be anywhere close to. Sadazan, you would betray me? Me betray you? You most biggest traitor of all. At least I did good job weakening anti-imperial forces inside Empire. That Bria knock lot was eyesore. But it's far, at far too high price. Thanks to you, we lose valuable agents who infiltrate our enemies, including Akatsuki. And you even bring unwanted guests all the way here. Uh. Sa Sandra, Sandra! Senator Man fainted. Time for Zadazan to leave. Uh. Well. Uh Okay You're all mine. We're just uh going to ignore that and uh yeah get us some loot, yes. Is that a ship? Excuse me. Excuse me, this is a grave site. How dare you? Meddlers who not know when to quit become food for Kapiba. Bash him up. Kapiba. 
Okay. Well, let's go. Very close. Lay off me. He sounds so sad about it. You're the ones that attacked us. That no pawn. That no pawn. It looked like he escaped. Perhaps we should return to the capital and tell Jacques about it. Yes, yes. All right, Jacques. I'm back. Ah, you made it. We've had notification from the Orion government that the senator will be extradited. His son is being held safely at a military installation. Good to hear. What kind of parent puts his child through that? I think he'll be all right in the end, though. So the thing is, what? There are still anti-imperialist agents at large? And the Nopon are involved? Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? Sorry, but I don't really have any information that would help you right now. Seems that we've encountered an impasse. Bridget, we mustn't give up. Our purpose in life is to defend the Emperor and the Empire. If we continue our search, we're sure to find something that leads us to those scoundrels. You have a fire in your soul, Aegean. You wouldn't think so to look at you. Perhaps this is Rex's influence? Everyone, let's look for some clues. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we finished that quest. Heart to heart? With who? Ooh. A treat fit for a hero. Oh. Snack time already, Nia? Spot anything <laughs> interesting? Nice one, Nia. You sniffed out a pretty cushy place. <laughs> you know, this was the great hero Adam's favorite food. They say it uses an authentic mix of spices passed down for 500 years. To be fair, y'all lied about Adam in other cases. Santal is pretty damn cold. Stands to reason that Adam would like food with a bit of kick to it, eh? Uh, kick? <laughs> Adam was into spicy stuff. Hmm. Heroes have strange tastes. <laughs> hey, what's over spicy? Rather rude, don't you think? Spicy food is delicious. Oh, I wonder if they're making a pun on Nekojita. Like cat tongues, like you can't handle hot food. Usually that refers to actually hot food, but... Don't tell me you're some kind of namby-pamby when it comes to heat. And what would be the problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> For all your tough facade, you really are just a little kid, ain't you? Oh, you watch it, Shaled. You're asking for a fight. <laughs> hey, no need to get your ears ruffled. I'm going to get some for you, and you'll see how wrong you are. Mithra? You want some too? Uh... Huh? What's up? Um, well, you see... Uh, she kind of knew him, so... Adam didn't like spicy food either. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of like... <laughs> she can kind of set him straight. What? Huh? You got it. I never saw him eat anything that spicy. <laughs> Even a hint of spice would have him running for the latrine. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have a little kid's tastes too. You're kidding me. You can't tell me stories like that. I grew up idolizing Adam, and now I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> hey, Mithra. Do you have any other funny stories? Funny stories? I wonder if I can remember anything. So, like, what was Adam's real favorite food? Yeah, I'm curious. Well, that would be pan-fried tartari. I mean, well... Just like Rex. <laughs> yeah. Adam would just light up at the sight of it. It really sounds like the great hero was just a big <laughs> kid when it came to food. I mean, that's fair. You like what you like. Anything else? Stop! Stop! I can't take any more. <laughs> Can you please leave at least some of my admiration for him untainted? <laughs> what? He still did, you know, lots of things. Just Why does his food taste have to be so, like, refined or special? What do you care? Adam is just a guy like anyone else. Look who's a big kid now, Shalad. <laughs> you are Sneer. You're loving this, aren't you? Absolutely, Damn she it. is. <laughs> I'm going to have to reread Adam, the great hero, to scrub my mind. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still, 
Yeah, there's a phrase in Japanese called nekojita, which literally translates to cat tongue, which means you can't handle like hot foods. But as far as I know, this mostly like temperature hot and not spicy hot. But I'm kind of wondering if they were making a joke on that. Let's head to the world tree and see what nonsense we can get into. Oh, hi. Well, hello this there. Is in the park. I don't know. I feel right. Uh, let's go. Oh no! That's not even funny. What? Oh my gosh! I am going to litter. Okay. It's like I'm actually going to fall all the way down. All right. Oh. <laughs> Guess we can't go salvaging. Ooh. Poppy, you're up. Poppy got it. Are you going to just? Oh, right. Both friends, hold tight. Uh. Let's go. Let's go. Rex and the Aegis. What are they doing? <laughs> Unless, open fire. Don't let them near. Oh? Oh, are they gonna use... Puppy is way too agile. They are very small targets. Come on, Puppy! I believe in you! No, 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 no. Come on, Puppy! Rex! Just fling! Rex! Just do it from here. Okay? All right. We're in a good spot. Let's go. Yes. Aha. See ya. Ooh. I've locked on. Siren. Do do. Attack. There's also a Poppy. Poppy could have probably helped, but. Where is Poppy? Work? I mean. It's stopped. Our chum's only gone and done it. Poppy, do Tora proud. Good job, Poppy. No it seems a little Master too Pond. easy, though, but. Eminence, the Amp Towers are. Curse those fools. Oh? Do you even know what you've done? No, because you don't communicate with anyone. <sighs> what did we do, though? Oh. Why? What are you hanging around here for? Go! Oh. That voice. Mick? That you? You're chasing Jin and Malos, right? I said go! Why would you... Beats me. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's like, it just feels like the right thing to I do. I really hate this world. Like, really. And humans, most of all. You used to be human. <laughs> but you know what? There were people I loved, once. Hmm. When I look at you guys, it reminds me of them. I wonder if the people Aww. I loved were still around. Would things be different? I wonder that. 
I start doubting myself. Mikhail? It's Rex, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you found your answer? We're trying. I have, and it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> I see. Well then, <laughs> I'll leave Jin to you. Now go. Get after him already. Tell him your answer. Hmm. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's. Y you stay alive. I don't need heartbreak. Amalthus. Time to end this. I mean, yeah, for you, it's kind of personal. Just, you know, like, ha! slam it into the cloud sea. It's just, yeah. I wasn't expecting you to. Oh, or to the wor into the world tree. That that also works. <laughs> Should I have gotten tissues? Who do you take me for? Someone who's very angry and in need of therapy. There's a lot of people in this game that need therapy. What happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. Mm -hmm. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? Aww. You don't have to worry. Really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Forgive us, Jin. We're going on ahead. Doll, it's it's sinking. Never thought I'd see the day when Torner of all people would be saving our hides. Mikhail, we can't let his efforts go to waste. Right. Let's go after Jin. I have to have a word with him about the answer I found. Sorry, I just... They need to kind of be a little bit sad here. Uh, and not fling ourselves off into the void. Uh, no flinging ourselves into the void? Yeah. Let's... Wait, what? How did I even get up here? How do I even get down if I want to? Um, this RPG needs a GPS. This is this is what needs to happen. Uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Ali, oh what? This this is gonna take us. Oh, I don't see where it's taking us, but <laughs> he's just gonna practice her boxing well. I'm not ready. I know I'm not ready. <sighs> I'm so scared. We're not even gonna make it to the end of the hallway!
I'm not ready. <laughs> oh? What do you see? This is what, what I was I expecting. I see a bunch of people struggling to stay alive. Same as almost everyone else on Allrest right now. Zeke, have you ever taken a person's life? Can't say I have. Never seen the need for it myself. Oh? Why does anyone kill others? Because they're in your way, or because you can't bear the sight of them? You kill because you're weak. But I'm not weak, so I don't need to kill anyone. And I don't mean physically, yeah? <laughs> I mean in here. Oh. I so idealistic and I love that him. That makes me weak then. But that weakness is why I'm standing here today. So you hate them, humans? No. I hate this world. Oh? fine with some therapy maybe a, a lot of therapy but he oh. lived a long time so he could have had a lot of therapy world. uh what just give me a straight answer yeah sure there's plenty of room for improvement but then there's also plenty of stuff that's awesome <laughs> what about us huh oh i think shallad's about to propose <laughs> what Fleabag! I mean, how do you feel about us, people? Whew, I was worried then. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Anyway, what's your answer? Some Ooh, good, some one. bad. People can be fun to be around, but sometimes they're hard to deal with. And then there's mean types, like that banner. For sure. The good, the bad, the ugly. But like... life's about taking the good with the bad, right? So yeah, I like people. I mean, there's good people. There's and you. I like myself, and I'm people. <laughs> All right, big Ed. <laughs> I see. Well, that's you all over. I'm relieved. Oh. What? We have this kind of light-hearted well, moment-ish. Mm -hmm. Suppose a guy who hated himself had the power that you do. If someone like that were to meet the architect... I wouldn't be surprised if they wished for the whole world to disappear. Hmm. <sighs> I, I feel the same way with Zeke. I come out, think come I out. Uh, did with in my experience. Ricky. Um, surprising deaths. I am so not ready. This isn't a lockout point, is it? No. Okay, cool. Hey, look five. what I found! Uh. Okay. What's up, Jin? So this is where it ends. You say something? No. I'll stay here. You go fulfill our goal. What are you saying? We promised we'd go together, didn't we? You having second thoughts? We did once. There's no sound. It's so Oh. You okay? I'm just waiting. For the boy. I was told to wait. Told to wait? Oh. Yeah, everyone needs therapy. I'll be watching. Different kinds of therapy. All of you. Are you sure? I am. Oh. 
Oh. What are you saying? Jin just needs a good long hug, honestly. Hey, you! <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... From the Territorial Defense Corps! It's you! Oh? What? Oh, I remember him well, even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool. If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes. The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House. Oh. <laughs> Must be yeah, rough trying to piece together old lives. Oh, did he have a diary? This long war for independence will soon come to an end. It is not only the war that will soon be over. Her life, too, is about to end. And when she meets her end, so too will I. Oh. Unsullied by her death, I will merely return to my core. No memories. To await my eventual reawakening. <sighs> I will sleep as at the end of any other day. When I awake, will I be the same person as before? If the architect mm. does indeed exist, I wish I could ask him, Who am I truly? Whence did I come? Whither am I headed? If I were a praying man, I pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting Future. that it will, Future I will self. use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. Oh. This is how it is done. Okay. So that's how. <sighs> my... How terribly desolate. I heard it's been 90 years, but... What is it? Did you remember something? Uh, it's kind of impossible. No. It's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learnt about the old you. Mm. I am... Who I am. I do not change. Is <sighs> finding that journal really a good thing? Huh? You came. We just give him a big group hug. Squish all the broken pieces back together. It's yeah. Are you alone? Where's Malos? He went ahead. Well then, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. I don't even think he knows exactly why. Are you trying to stop us going after Malos? Perhaps. I don't think he knows. 
I want to see for myself. If this world has any will of its own, which one would it choose? You or Malus? Then you should let us pass. That I cannot do. But why? In your state, you should barely be able to stand. You know, if we fight now, you'll... She's so angry, but... You see right through me, Mithra. But I made a promise. I'll do whatever it takes to fulfill this desire. Even if it means your death? Gladly. I don't want to... Jin. It looks like we won't get past without a fight. Just Charm, smack him upside the head. We can knock him out, right? We'll give it all we've got. Come on. As it should be. Come at me, boy. Uh. Okay. Hi. Okay. Time to take you down. Maybe we'll get out. Let's go. I should probably have done a few things before this, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so I can't just focus purely on that. I don't know if he has... Okay, let's go... Red! How dare you? Uh, Thank you, Nia. Let's go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we could also do if we can. Break. Come on, let's break. Break, 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 break. Uh, if we can't, that's fine. Whoa. Okay. Stop smacking me! I'm not the tank! Okay, perfect. Oh no! Ultra slash! Red. What? Ah! Uh. Fine, I was gonna try to get a blade combo, but this is fine. Bird. Bird. He's angry. Okay, you know what? We can do this. Let's go. Alright. Oh, the music is so good. No, 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 not me. Stop. Rude. Nullify Hill. How dare you? Ah. Can we topple him? We get a break first. Break, 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 break. Okay, we did it. Topple, launch, smash! Do some damage here. Okay, come on. No! Don't that. Oh, I was gonna try to do a chain attack. Can we. Can we. Okay, there we go. There we go! But we can also just. Get another orb going. I don't want to finish this battle because it's such good music. Okay, 
so close. Ah! Uh. No! <laughs> you still got it. Just give him a so bit of a concussion. It's fine. <gasps> oh no, you don't. The power to manifest what you imagine. Truly awesome. That power comes from the architect. Why do you wield it for mortal's sake? See, what's a world where to everyone lives Elysium. in peace together? People, blades, just every titans, everyone. Them. Do you even need to ask? Obviously. And then what? Can't you see where that leads? Peace? What are you saying? Humans will make Elysium into another Mortha. Just as they did with Torna 500 years ago. I won't let that happen. And after you die, what then? Who will stop the inevitable? Isn't that... Everyone's responsibility. Isn't that the reason that you blades exist? What? And when I'm not around to stand by you in that effort... Someone else will! That's right. When a person dies, that's it for them. But their thoughts and memories will always be passed on to someone else. Isn't that the same with you, Blades? Your past selves get passed down to someone else to become your new selves? Isn't that how you've always lived? Mm. We're no different. to be friends from now on i'll protect you i'll keep you safe always blades become titans when the time is up and those titans give birth to many new blades all while forming the world beneath our feet it's awesome it's enough to make me envious envious of us? So I'd like to ask the architect. Why? Tyra, Mithra, all of you. Why did he create all these incredible people? Actually, I think I might already know the answer. But I'd still like to check with the man himself. To check your answer? Yeah. You believe you know the reason we exist? Jean. Just Akos Petruka. No, come on. They're just trying to Petruka. protect him. I won't let you kill Jen. Stand Not down, trying Petruka. to kill him. But... He's the one that was getting in our way. For us now. There is nothing more. We've done all that we have to. Jen. Nia? Me? Your power. Can you use it on Jin? Oh. Well, sure. It'll only be a temporary measure, but... Don't expect any thanks. That's okay. Come on. We'll go back first and prep Jin for treatment. Akos, make yourself useful. Yeah, yeah, I got him! Yay! <laughs> Uh, Pedroka! What is that? You will climb no further. Oh! A Melphus here. And why does he look like that? Ah. Uh... What? 
is that just when I thought he couldn't get any crazier if the architect did send blades down to this world it was for my sake oh that's a to find little arrogant cores containing more powerful wondrous unparalleled data that is why I created the cleansing procedure. Uh... Behold the culmination of my work! You lunatic. Yeah, he took I... took the course from all those blades. So that was the reason for the cleansing. I am an agent of the Architect's will. What is he saying? Delusions of grandeur. You can't just decide stuff like that, dude! <laughs> You're out of your damn mind! I'm it glad we're no all delusion. on the same page. Have you forgotten the Aegis' power? That power. Is it not the Aegis' power to erase worthless things from existence? Is that not the Architect's very will? No, it's to protect important I things. I Mithra aren't like that. I just realized. I know why Malos is so intent on scouring the world. Oh? It's you, Amalthus. Malice has become tainted by your influence. <sighs> yeah, that so makes what sense. He has? What's the problem? You've had your little trip around Old Rest. You've witnessed the state of Moritha. Mankind will never change, no matter how many millennia pass. You're the one who won't change. That's exactly why you hate those who try to. And why should I have to change? Because you're crazy. If I change, I lose everything. But you I lose can... my very self. Who in their right mind would accept such a fate? That's why. Uh, someone who is actually in the right mind. The weakest of us all. Uh, this be fine. The Joker. You wanna kill us, huh? Oh. You're not human. Flesh eaters. We were on our way to be transferred to Indol. My sister and I from Tantal. Sister? Mm hmm. Here. The boy on the left? That was my driver. The right is Petroka's. Petroka. Is that her name? Yes. I'm Akos. Our drivers were brother and sister. That's why. We're siblings too, you're saying? What a dumb notion. They're them, and we're us. No relation whatsoever. <laughs> Even so, these bodies contain the lives of two humans. Mm -hmm. We are connected. I don't get why you bother. Are you happy? Uh, obviously not. I'm asking if it makes you happy, clinging to things like that. That I don't know. Mm. But... It's better than having... Nothing. It's important to me. And that gives me a reason... I mean, it's not too on. dissimilar to theory and praxis. To live for.
Back off! Stop! He's... No! Yeah! Back off! Let me go! You monster! How dare you? How dare you look down on me? You are mere blade whose very existence depends upon ours. Rex! He's got our cops! I'm on it! Let's go. Not on my watch! No, 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 no. This is a strange situation. Fighting so hard to save a member of Torna. Indeed, but it seemed like the right thing to do. His aim is clear. They're, and so they're is ours. a bit misguided, <laughs> but. <sighs> Thanks. Friend, welcome. Poppy, now not time for kind manners. I believe in returning favors. You owe me for that one. Much thanks. Stop <laughs> begging each other and smack him into non existence. Who do you people think you are? Friends! Whoa! We're the Guild of it Friendship and Murder. Why would humans side with blades? Because they're living beings too. He thinks it's a side to pick? We share yeah. a bond. You numbskull! We're all living beings. We're all beings, friends yeah. here. We're in this thing together. Bonds? A friendship? Yeah, With you should try it sometimes. Don't. Of course. That was surprisingly painful. If I were. Still a blade. This wouldn't. <sighs> Join me. Huh? My name is Jin. I am just like you. To go down. You stay right there. He's human. So we should be the ones to kick his ass. <laughs> I have a heart. No less human. Then you better take good care of it. That's why you came here. Right? Little cat. Rex. We're gonna break the 500 year long curse right here. Yeah. Let's do it! With the power of friendship! Alright! Time to I'm smack to the living daylight out of you! Maybe we're not. Come on! Did you just come through the floor? Okay, so you are weak to light. Good to know. Let's go. There we go. Alright. And make good use of this. Okay. I'm gonna keep topple as an option here. Okay. I, I don't think I like this. What is even this? Ah. Uh, okay, topple. Okay. Launch him and smash his face. 
face into the ground. No, I messed this up. Okay. Oh, I messed that up. That's fine. All right. It's fine. All right. Here we go. Trouble. I can't. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Help. Mia. 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 Thank you. Okay, wait, what? Did I not? Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, now it's wind. Okay. Alright. This is fine. We've got this. Come on. Let's go. Ah, the break did not work. Okay. All right. Steam bomb now. No, how about no, dude? Do you just need to learn how to calm down here? Uh. Oh shoot. No. Bad. Uh, I just want to. Okay, this will work. This will work. This is fine. Wish I could knock him into the. Just play golf with him. Knock him back this way. Okay, launch. Now smash his face into the ground. Wait, what? Did you resist the smash? How dare you! Excuse me, I had a very high hope of smashing your face into the ground, and you just ruined that for me. How dare you? How very dare you? Oh, wait, this does not work. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Come on. There we go. Here we go. I think. Okay. No, we can make use of this. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Alright. Okay. Mm, the break did not work. No! No, 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 no. I was gonna do a. Uh, now I have to wait for Rockta. Come on. Break, 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 so I have enough time to. Okay! Whoosh! How dare you get such awesome music to fight to? You're terrible! Okay, let's try this. Okay, there we go. Why can't I? S oh, shoot. Good. Come on. I need to. Oh, we finally got a break. And then. Cory, don't you dare die. You know what? Cory, don't you dare die. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we have a chain attack. Tor has like no health, but that's fine. Alright. Just let me handle it. Excellent. <sighs> Tora, keep up. Tora, uh, right on time. Go, go, go! Let's go! Mia's turn! Let's see. Uh yes. Okay. Whoosh. Let's go. Ooh, yes! <laughs> yes, he absolutely needs overkill. I'm enjoying smacking this dude. I mean, this dude obviously has some trauma going on here, but... Uh, you're not dealing with it in the healthiest way, my dude. So therefore, you must go down. And you also kind of 
murdering people, so... This is fine. Great. Down you go, Amalthus. Oh. I cannot end like this. Not until I've met the architect. If you were just Not until I've erased everything with my own hands. What? Uh, dude, you need to chill. This is bad. The world tree cannot take it. Okay. How? How's that bastard still standing <laughs> after the incredible thrashing we gave him? We must stop him. Uh, sh through uh. sheer rage alone. That's how. What? Jin! Ah! Ah! Uh. Pyra Rex! Mithra. You. Don't. Don't get me wrong, okay? <laughs> I couldn't let him get your core, too. That's all. With it. Be <laughs> of course. Uh huh. We, we totally believe you. Thank you. You're just doing it because you're nice. You just pretend like you're not. No? Nia, take care of them both. I... I will. Jen, why didn't you kill me when I joined Rex and the others? He's a softy. Becoming the blade of someone you trust. Jin. I did that too, once. Mm hmm. Rex, you have to stop Malice. He's still searching for his own identity. Mm. Tell him the answer you found. Jin. You should have died with Torna. Let's end this now. You, you should have died a long time ago, dude. Has been handed down. You're just so Amalthus. angry. Your duty is as dust in the wind compared to my destiny. My dude, you are uh, very crazy. I don't even think. Uh, Therapy would help you at this point. Architect! I should have been your chosen one! Maybe if you're a bit nicer. I lived as you wanted me to! No! I did! I always! Bandits? Probably. After all, Pandoria looks pretty damn human for a blade. She'd be worth a lot to some people. They sell them. Line up the cores with pretty pictures of the blade inside. It's the same as it ever was. What? As soon as people are denied something they desire, they try to take it by force. Not everyone's like that. No, they just... Oh, some give up prematurely. But the feeling is there, I assure you. No, that's well, just... Well, in that case, why bother protecting them? Why not let people do whatever? To remind <laughs> myself, I must never forget what kind of beings humans are. Is that what helping me was, too? <laughs> <laughs> Your cat's throwing a temper tantrum. I seem to recall seeing a very similar scene. Oh. Hmm? 
Perhaps that too was one face of humanity. Why did you look so sad back then? That was you too, wasn't it? Mm. Father, why do you not answer when I call? Your fate could have been very different. Oh? Mother, I've missed you. Oh. He was hurt and angry and just took it out literally on the world. Jin. Can everyone stop dying? Except her mouth as he could. Yeah. He was trying to destroy the world, but. What a splendid soul you were, Jin. <laughs> Jin. <sighs> then if Amalthus is God, what does that mean for Malos? I mean, I guess maybe once they're awakened, they stay awakened, but... I'm not really sure the rules of the Aegis. What a stench! They let beggars roam free in this town? You. You're a blade, aren't you? Where's your driver? Dead drunk in a ditch? No, somehow I don't think that's it. The name's Malos. I'm the same as you. Just very angry. Oh, right, yeah. He was said he was able to live without a Malthus. Nine rain. <sighs> I don't know if I can handle any more cutscenes. On the one hand, I do feel a bit bad for. Amalthus, because he grew up rough. But he could have led a very different path, but he was also crazy and had to go down. But Petroka and uh, Coulson. Uh, I'm sad about this. Uh, I just need a moment to, like, mentally prepare. <laughs> Trust me, the next one is interesting. I'm sure it is interesting! I just don't know if it's gonna rip my heart out more or just destroy me. My heart and soul may not be ready, but at least, you know... I can, you know, prepare a little bit. Alright. Just save again, but yeah. I guess so. Let's see how much chaos. And this. 
Why does it always end in space? Heat seeking warhead. We've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. Reading shift to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance. Releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Is this down to scientists again? Scientists messing up. Oh. Echelon siren losses now exceed sixty percent. Siren. Okay. Director, the beanstalk cannot hold. The beanstalk. The rebels are very close to capturing it. Save your right. I have no idea what's going we on. Have no choice. Just absorb information. Initialize am. Uh oh. Prepare the conduit. Roger. Hmm. This looks like I Director, think I see where this is going. Has failed. How come? We're locked out by Professor Klaus. What? We can't secure access from our side. What did you say? Trinity processes syncrate at ninety-six percent. Uh that should be good enough. Let's begin the experiment. Professor, no! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! Ridiculous! Uh... It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today. Mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a conduit. gateway. Conduit. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine entity? The conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold. Galea. Galea. We humans are fools. We've ravaged the planet. We are on the verge of burning even the skies above. But the conduit could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Galea, this is the birth of a brand new universe. Stop, Klaus! I was not expecting this. I'm sorry, I just... I didn't think these were linked! Uh... Okay. Multiple universes then? Oh? Fools, indeed. The time has come. I'm so... Well, I'm we'll have Monty, but I just need I 
didn't think these games were linked! I guess maybe he just created a multiverse? It's going to be my guess. Uh... Okay, so that's why they're both ending in space. Oh, oh my gosh. The final tutorial. Let me tell you about a th special three-person attack which only Rex can use. If you've got Pyra and Nia engaged to Rex at the same time, max out his affinity with them both and then use a level four special. It'll come out as a coordinated three-person attack that you could simply never get with the other blades. Its destructive power is also a cut above regular specials, so if you've got Pyrenea engaged, be sure to use it to its fullest. Okay! I'm gonna save that. Alright! I think that's gonna be, like, a good place to end it. What just happened? I was like, oh, okay, Aris, there, it's, you know, not connected at all. It's fine. I was not expecting Klaus. I was like, oh, is this just going to be a running theme that they end up in space at the end of every game? But um, I don't even know what to make of this. I guess that would make sense why there are similarities between the universe, like why you have Nopon in these two universes. You even have Bana and you have like this shape i'm just gonna i guess he didn't create one universe maybe a, a multiverse or i i don't even know did he split himself like his 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 spirit the the like body i mean the one and the other like zanza you know is still young so there's that i'm just trying to unravel all of this insanity why did he create the play to prevent his folly there's a, there's a lot to unpack there. Oh boy. <laughs> this is not the direction I thought this was going. I'm still very sad that everyone died. They don't even get answers. That's, I think, the saddest part. They don't even get answers. Okay, thank you, game, for just absolutely breaking me again. All right, my beautiful beans and things, you know what time it is. It's time to read some comments. The first comment is by Nerdy Cat Lover. So earlier in the game, there are a few points in which a Malthus was sitting on the throne and you could talk to him. If you get up close to him and move the camera just right, you can actually see that core crystal under the brim of his hat. All right, new game plus challenge accepted. Let's see how many awkward conversations we can have with a Malthus while completely invading his personal space he gets none of that zero personal space we're just going to give him extra reasons not to like us but more seriously that is a pretty cool detail and thank you for your comment our next comment is by mteb the jury is still out whether mouth has killed that baby by the way i honestly didn't pick up that it could be interpreted that way when i first watched the cutscene. but when i went back and edited that clip i was like wait wait did he just uh, no, surely he didn't. Surely I'm misinterpreting this. And I watched it a few times and I was like, I think he might have. I'm not certain. But yeah, a mouth is kind of insane. So I wouldn't be that surprised if he did do that as some sort of twisted act of mercy through either sparing this child from the evil of the world or preventing it from becoming a part of the evil of the world. And I think it's probably intentionally left vague, but the fact it can even be interpreted that way, I think speaks a lot about Amalthus's character and how he can be seen so easily as someone that could do that. Imagine a different character like Rex shushing a crying baby and it goes quiet. You wouldn't interpret that as, did he or did he not kill this baby? But with Amalthus, you're like, yeah, there's a pretty good chance he could do something like this. But I think it speaks a lot about the subtle storytelling of Xenoblade and how they can shift or influence your view of characters. But here's to hoping that this theory is wrong and the baby just fell asleep. And thank you for your comment. That's going to be it for today. So as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon. 